isn't my favorite time of the month. <sighs> Feels just like home. God, I love this game. I'm so good at it. Detective, happy to see me? You're looking lovelier than ever. A bit tired though. Don't tell me you pulled all-nighters again tracking my activities. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd love to be the reason you're up all night, but I'd prefer to play a more active and intimate role. Thanks for sending that car for me, by the way. I felt so special. Running up front, chatting with your partner. Who knew there could be a silver lining in your car getting totaled by a semi? Though, I wish you'd be more mindful of my wants and needs on other matters. Ooh, that's new. Disabled the cameras, did we now? Can't have it documented, what you're about to do to me? Is that even legal? Well, detective, I can't say I'm not curious to see what depraved things you have planned. Who's to say I won't be into it? And there it is. Gosh, I just love your little pet names for me. They're so endearing. When should we go official, hmm? The precinct already knows about your major obsession with me. And that time you dragged me out of my house half-naked for highway robbery was a bit incriminating for your little crush, don't you think? I think it's high time we sit down, clear off this table, and get to- Ouch! Detective! I hope you're not this rough with handcuffs and other contacts. Wait. Wait, no. That's kind of hot. Would you mind doing that again? <laughs> I mean, you make this too easy, Detective. Getting you all riled up. I'm used to our little song and dance by now. Something goes wrong in this town. You drag me in. Throw truly baseless accusations backed by flimsy evidence at me. Maybe once in a blue moon we'll go to court, but ultimately, I walk free. What do you say we skip all that nonsense and get to a whole new chapter in our relationship? A whole new, hot, heavy, sensual chapter. The only thing I'm really guilty of is stealing that heart of yours. Diamonds? Now what on earth are d diamonds <laughs> Oh come on. Does that really sound like me? A bit on the nose as far as criminal masterminds go. Don't you think I'd spring for something a little more inspired than diamond robbery? It seems to me that you should be on the lookout for some cartoon villain twirling his mustache instead. Hmm, okay, Batman. Where were you the night of the robbery? Come on, detective. Save that voice for the bedroom. How are people even supposed to remember what they were doing at such a specific time anyways? Can you even remember what you were doing that night, detective? Well then... I'll have you know that between the hours of 7pm and 9pm last Thursday night, I was at my book club. Aw, uh, now detective, see, that hurts. You don't believe me? Don't I seem intellectual? Don't I seem well read? I have to say, I love the company. The old ladies there are such dears. A bit stuck up at times, but I mean... With as much money as they have, I'd be judgmental too. But the real treat is all the wonderful books they choose. Gone Girl, The Black Dahlia, The Poet. I really relate to that last one in particular. Oh, stop your bristling. What I meant was that I write my own poems. Here, let me recite one. There once lived a detective so blessed, a rogue they sought strongly to best. Wound up so tight, they'd struggle all night, when they could've had mind-blowing sex. Ah! <sighs> if you didn't like it, you could've just said so. Here, I'll try another one. Roses are red, I would beg, crawl, and lick. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done. But did you get it? See where I was going with that? See, I was going to rhyme lick with... <sighs> but detective, you never want to play anymore. It's always... Who are your accomplices? And you won't get away with this. And take off your clothes. Oh wait, no. No, that last one is part of a truly wonderful recurring dream I have. You know, maybe I'd be just a tad bit more cooperative if you told me a little bit more about yourself. Like, what's your first name? 
Do you like Italian food? Are you free Friday night? <sighs> yes, yes, the diamonds. What if I said I was going to donate them to charity? Make shiny earrings for orphans? Or a dazzling present just for you? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'll just stick with my original statement then. What are diamonds again? Hmm. No, that store name isn't ringing any bells. Hang Hall & Co? I mean, it kind of sounds like a vendor for one of the clients I used to audit for. But seriously, it sounds like something you'd cough up. <laughs> sounds like the type of hoity-toity shop that's so pretentious it offers climate control conditions for rocks. I bet they fainted, clutching their one degree warmer pearls during that outage last week. I wouldn't set foot in a place like that. And I never have. You can double check that with them too. Isn't this a bit out of the ordinary for what you usually accuse me of? Don't you have a criminal profile that you built for me or something? Something to reference to construct a believable MO? Wow, you are obsessed with me. I mean, I knew to some degree the extent of it, but this is seriously some next level stalker stuff, detective. Can I have a look? I'm a big fan of your work. Let's see, school records. I see you've circled some of my grades in my major. Ironic, isn't it? Knowing my strong suits and that we have so much chemistry. Really? Not even a smile? I might as well be Phosphorus 32, living only half a life in the shadow of your scorn. Looks like you also nabbed some old resumes too. Ugh, boring. Industrial and environmental engineering are so not as sexy as I make it look. Tracing soil erosion, sediment movement, gas leaks. Not exactly a turn-on for most people, but I try. And medical records. Okay, creepy. Are you really that into blood types? Trying to gauge our compatibility or something? And here they are. Mugshots, my favorite part. I almost expect our initials inscribed in little hearts to be doodled on the back of these. Kiss marks on the photos, the whole shebang. Hmm. Okay. I'll bite. If you answer which mugshot is your favorite, I'll try to seriously answer any one of your questions. That one? Really? You can barely see my face under all the bruising and swelling. Oh, ha ha, detective. So mean. So, what's your question then? Asking, where did you hide the diamonds, will elicit the same responses, how did you steal the diamonds, dear? I don't have them. Oh, is that for me? Really, detective, you didn't have to send for tea. Oh. Oh. Uh, detective, are you- <gasps> Huh. Well, that's just rude. I really hope this was heated up on a kettle or on a stove. You know, detective, you may be fine with consuming whatever zero-nutrition, ready-in-five-minutes TV dinners that you have stuffed in the back of your ancient freezer, but some of us are trying to reduce our microwave usage. Gotta monitor that radiation exposure, right? Ugh, my pants are soaking now. I'll just let that one hang out there. So, not that I have any inside information on this case, because that would be crazy, right? But I have this little feeling that you have the usual amount slash quantity of evidence against me. Am I right? Oh, fun. Pleading the fifth? Can I read your Miranda rights? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> Damn. Felt good to be on the other side of that for once. Now I see why you're always on your little tirades. That's an absolute power trip. Well, since you insist on withholding that classified information, can I take a guess as to what the police do have right now? Let's see. You've already asked about my whereabouts during a specific window, so you clearly already have a time of occurrence puzzled out, which, I'm so sorry to say, I have alibis for every hour of every day for the past two weeks. The precinct looks a little... too staffed today, so I'm willing to bet that no other suspects have been pinned down or brought in. 
So no accomplices linked back to me, huh? And from what I saw in the level of activity here and mannerisms of your partner, no solid leads have been found yet. He's a good dude, you know. Friendly, talkative, a bit cagey when I tried bringing you up, though. A shame, really. I wanted to see if you had any good info on you. Your preferences, maybe even a cute photo or two. Detective, you don't have to be so defensive. I promise you're still my favorite. After all, I'm still trying to discover those special techniques of yours that can make this jailbird sing. <sighs> Anyways, other guesses that might not be as obvious. I don't think you found any evidence of a break-in at the scene of the crime. Probably couldn't find any prints, compromise points, or any other form for breaching or interference to what I can only assume was a guarded, fortified, state-of-the-art safe. And the security footage probably backs up this utter lack of diamond shenaniganery. Am I right? Oh, and the jeweler and client? I'm willing to bet they're safe and accounted for, with alibis as well, and no trace of harm or tamperment, psychological or otherwise. So, I'll flip the question on you, detective. What do you think I supposedly did? <sighs> Silence again, huh? I really wish you'd stop doing that. Your voice is siren song to my ears, but it's often so quiet I can barely hear it, even when you're admonishing me. <sighs> That's alright, though. I'm sure I can get you to scream my name soon enough. But really, detective? Best precinct in the state? Top of your class? And you really have no ideas? This place is funded to the nines, for goodness sake. Practically with all the trappings of a mini pentagon. Nuclear tracers, portable mass spectrometers. Don't you have a little bomb-diffusing robot guy, too? Damn, I'd love to play with that thing. But I'm getting off topic, aren't I? So, in summary, you have nothing, nothing, sparkly nothing, and what was it again? Oh, yes. A whole load of piping hot, ready to eat, probably heated up in the microwave, nothing. Seriously, detective, this is more embarrassing than the time you busted down the doors to my demo teaching lab in an attempt to arrest me for illegal substances synthesis. I mean, just because it's clear doesn't mean it's crystal meth. <laughs> Gosh, do you remember that? The look on your face was priceless when you realized that, which is the little bit of a temperature increase and slight tweak in humidity your precious boss that you spent months tailing me for was all for nothing. A harmless experiment meant to teach children about sublimation. Didn't you get in a whole lot of trouble with your sergeant too? Had to issue a formal apology and everything to me. I loved watching you squirm as you begged for my forgiveness. Though, I was a bit sad that you were ordered to not interact with me anymore. But I guess... Oh, is that why the cameras are off? Am I not even supposed to be in here with you? Is this our little secret? Oh, detective, don't even worry about it. You know I'd always be down to do something a little naughty with you. Aw, don't be so hurtful just because I can do this so much better than you. See, let's just say I stole them. For posterity's sake, how would I even do that? It's not like I, what, knew the exact details of when the jewelry would be presented to the client? How could I? I mean, one would have to have inside knowledge of the client's pickup time and date. And for that to even happen, some hotshot would have to first find a client wealthy enough to even buy something of that value, drop subtle hints at the types of shops around town that are even capable of that kind of order, then orchestrate a whole meeting between the atelier and client, maybe even tamper with certain delivery dates for their own convenience. This is random, but was the client set to pick up the piece a little bit earlier than expected? But I mean seriously, who could do that? Then there's the matter of the discovery. Looks like you didn't even find anything concrete at the crime scene, but you fine officers were still able to pin an exact date and time of the robbery since the client had a try on before delivery. It's almost as if, it's almost as if the diamonds were stolen in transit. 
replaced with a special compound with the clarity of high quality diamonds that dissolves under specific atmospheric and chemical conditions, then made into the final piece, only disappearing into thin air once the robber was ready. So really, you should be looking into the vehicle that transported the jewels in the first place. Oh, but wasn't there an accident a couple days ago that involved some sort of truck and a poor civilian car? Hmm, that's such a shame. Hope it isn't related or anything. This is all speculation, of course. But really, detective, do I sound capable enough to pull all that off? Ah, uh, there, there, detective. You'll have your moment someday. I'm sure you'll get what you deserve soon enough. Now, am I free to go? Or are you just dying for a bit more company? A bit more of my time and face? Hmm? Oh, you're right. I guess that does leave the question of where the real diamonds are now. I'll show you mine if you'll show me yours. Well, detective, I think that whatever mastermind is behind this wouldn't have them at all. <laughs> I'm serious. Whoever did this has probably gotten away with dozens of crimes in the past. Why would they keep millions of dollars worth of practically e-liquid, hot contraband on them? Sounds like such a hassle. Unless... Unless the robber is using the diamonds for something else. Something a bit more... satisfying. Like... Let's say they were absolutely in love with a certain detective and just wanted to give them a little present. Maybe they knew from the start, through their past work experience, that the mining company that works with the jewelry shop was implementing experimental methods of tracking, using nuclear isotope half-lives that died off after a safe period was reached, and following radiation trails should anything bad happen to the gems. But the robber, they'd have to be an expert on industry-specific methods of handling these isotopes, particularly to safeguard their health and contain the radiation to a specific path. Any normal person would be none the wiser to these techniques, and so any normal person couldn't have possibly pulled this off, right? And the detective? Well, the detective is just a bit too high-strung and squirrely for the liking of the other officers in the precinct. Who would blame them, really, in this fast-paced, sophisticated facility that houses so many gadget goodies? Unrelated, but do you know if anyone's checked out that high-tech portable nuclear tracer? And maybe they're just a little too tired to have noticed strange things happening at their sketchy apartment on, and <laughs> this is just a crazy guess, 4th and Brighton? So tired, really. Suspiciously tired. All the time. And sick. I do hope they're taking care of themselves and not unknowingly exposing themselves to any danger. Oh, and we can't forget about their obsession and hostility toward a particular innocent, law-abiding citizen. They've been called in on multiple occasions for psychological evaluations already, haven't they? And so, maybe it's not so unbelievable that the detective, our tired, irritable, Normal, detective, had pulled this off at all. At least, that's what everyone else would think. Tell me, detective. Do you have a soft spot for jewelry? Detective, we're gonna need you to step out of the room. We have some questions we need to ask you. Huh. Didn't think it was possible to be more attracted to you. But I gotta say, falsely accused has never looked hotter.